step off the train I'm walking down your street again And past your door But you don't live there anymore It's years since you've been there And now you disappeared somewhere Like out of space You found some better place and I miss you Like the deserts miss the rain And I miss you oh. Like the deserts miss the rain Hello everybody, it is Tuesday, it is in the UK at least uh, 8 o'clock, or it sure is if I've set this up properly, and it is time for the Quiz Kazoogle Publis Pub Quiz Light. Shut up Annie Lennox. Oh, how good it was Paula Cole. Anyway, uh, none of that matters. Uh, I uh, <laughs> just recorded half of this thing and then I got the blue screen of death. Got to do it all over again. At this rate, it's going to take longer to record the pre-recorded version uh, than the proper version. Because, as you will know, if you were listening last week, uh, I have moved the full quiz Quizcazotal experience to first, third and fifth Tuesdays of the month only. That means on the second and fourth Tuesday, like today, we are going to be doing Quiz Cazote Light. What, I hear you ask me, 
does Quizquizote light mean? Well, it is all very much like normal Quizquizote, uh, except that I am not doing this live. This was all recorded yesterday, or if you're me now, today. That means that I am not going to be able to give the normal hilarious commentary on the answers received, and I am not going to be able to read out any scores. It also means um, that there is no point in submitting an answer sheet. I have been looking into ways to automate the whole process to let you mark each other in my absence, uh, but this is uh, what we might call non-trivial, so I am not going to try and do anything like that this week. Uh, so, uh, just mark your answers down on your computer, on a pen and paper, um, tell it to your friends, whatever it takes, and then mark your own homework. And do feel free to let everyone know how you got on on the comment thread on this video once you are finished. I can tell you, I did this one with Jane, the graphic design elf, and Rick from Sounds A Bit Hippie To Me. The other day, we scored 101 and a half, which is, um, you know, I think fine. Probably not a winning score, if we're honest, but uh, there's your benchmark. Beat 101.5 and feel good about yourself. Uh, so the other big difference is that I am not going to be leaving the normal big pauses between the questions. Uh, it would take me two and a half hours to record this if I did it in real time, and that means that I am going to be inviting you to use the very exciting patented Quizcasotal pause function. Now, what do I mean? I mean that you should pause the YouTube video after I read out each question, and then you can just start playing it again once you've settled on an answer. Uh, to give a little bit of a visual hint to remind you to do this, we have the patented Quizcasotal pause button. There it is. Uh, when I am done asking a question, I will put up the pause button and uh, give you a couple of moments, uh, and then I will read the next. Uh, this does mean if you forget to pause, you will get barraged with questions. So uh, hopefully uh, that can all be dealt with. I am going to read out the round one questions, then I'm going to play you the music round, and then I'll give you your round one answers in the traditional fashion. We'll do a bit of round two, we'll do music answers, then we will finish round two, uh, do the wipeout, and give you the final set of answers. Um, but probably you're going to be finishing at different times, not sure how many of you are going to be doing this anyway. But as I say, uh, do uh, feel free to use the comment thread on the video to talk to each other a little bit and generally pass the time. I will not be able to react to anything. I will not be able to fix anything. If I forget to read out a question, I'm afraid you are done for. So I will try not to forget to read out any questions. Uh, while we are not going to be using the answer sheets, you can uh, get the pictures from the normal download if you like them on a separate sheet as well as on the pausable plinth. HTTP bit.ly slash quizcasotal underscore pictures. Uh, I'll say it again. Ignore that answer link just for this week at least. Hopefully that all makes sense. I am going to get us started straight off with question one. The phrase below the belt meaning unfair, is derived from which sport? The phrase below the belt, meaning unfair, is derived from which sport? Question number two. How many months of the year are exactly 30 days long? How many months of the year are exactly 30 days long? Question three takes us to the first of our pictures. We have got three pairs of people for you. Uh, the individuals in each pair are not related and yet and they share a name. Can you tell me 
who all of these are. First name and uh, last name, of course. Six faces means six points available on this one. Coming back in for question four. In the animated ident for Pixar, which letter of the logo is stamped on uh, without any sort of provocation by a table lamp? In the ident for Pixar, which letter of the logo is stamped on by a table lamp? And question number five, what is the SI derived unit uh, or the official standard unit of measurement, if you prefer, for frequency? What is the SI derived unit for frequency? On to question six and our second picture of the day. We have some Venn diagrams for you. Uh, can you work out what lives at the intersection of these three sets? If you have somehow forgotten what a Venn diagram is uh, since school or since last week, uh, then there is an example on the left where planets meets chocolate bars. Question number seven. We are asking you some geography. Which four countries share a land border with Pakistan? Which four countries share a land border with Pakistan? And we'll keep ploughing along to question eight. Which best-selling toys of the 1980s were known as robots in disguise? Which best-selling toys of the 80s were known as robots in disguise? Question nine, and we're back to the pictures with picture three. This week, we got you some jelly beans. Are you feeling full of beans? Well, we sure as heck are. We have got seven flavours of bean for you. Can you identify all of them? You can go by the colour and you can go by the spattering of letters we've given you for each. Question number 10. Can you give me the names of three chemical elements that begin with the letter P, uh, followed immediately by a vowel? Three chemical elements that begin with the letter P, followed immediately by a vowel. Question 11. Who was the most recent Italian manager to lead a team to the English Premier League title in the men's footballs? Who was the most recent Italian manager to lead a team to the English Premier League title? Question 12, and we are back to picture number four. We have five more stills from films for you. And we are looking for the names of five films and an actress who appears in all of them. Five points for the films, one bonus point for the actress.
question number 13. And I'm asking you, in which year did Theresa May, Philip Hammond, Yvette Cooper and Alan Johnson all become MPs in the British Parliament for the first time, with the normal apologies to our overseas players, or home players, if you're where you are, and we're overseas. Uh, in which year did Theresa May, Philip Hammond, Yvette Cooper and Alan Johnson all become MPs for the first time? Question 14 is our fifth picture. And we've got two predictive texts for you. They're a little longer than sometimes. Uh, we have got some email sign-offs. If you're very old and you remember letters, you may find that these could have been appropriate in other contexts. But uh, in 2021, they count as email sign-offs. Uh, back for question 15, and I am asking you what A is the class of arthropod to which scorpions belong? Uh, unpleasant looking wee beasties, aren't they? But what A is the class of arthropod to which scorpions belong? Question number 16. Who wrote the Ballad of Reading Jail following his release from that prison? Who wrote the Ballad of Reading Jail following his release from the prison? Question 17 takes us to picture six and we got four more logos for you. Uh, can you work out these uh, slightly active uh, brands, if I'm not much mistaken? We have four companies to identify. Can you work it out? Four points available. Onwards to question 18. After the death of King George VI in 1952, his widow Elizabeth became known by what popular title? After the death of King George in 1952, his widow Elizabeth became known by what title? Final picture question for round one. We've got four more individuals all born in the same year. Uh, the chap on the right is so anonymous. Can you remember his name, though? Uh, maybe you like him. I, I find him very, very difficult to pin down. Anyway, uh, four people and a bonus point available if you can tell me the year they were born. We give you plus or minus one either way. And our final question for round one. And what E is the more common term for cerumen? It's a substance secreted by humans. How delightful. What E is the more common term for cerumen? A substance secreted by humans. That is question 20, which means that it is time for the conventional uh, tea break. I'm not going to put five minutes up on the clock for you this time. 
uh, because you can just hit the pause button. So pause now, back in a moment with the music. Okay, I hope you had a nice long break this week without me to hector you a lot. Uh, we are back and it is time to go to the music round. You all know the deal. I am going to play you six songs. They are going to span the decades from the 60s through to the 2020s. Uh, each of them has a name. Each of them is associated with at least one performing artist. All I need from you is to tell me the name of the song and to tell me the name of the performing artist. If there's more than one artist, it'll be half a point for each, assuming there's two of them. I think we really normally have three, do we? Anyway, uh, title and artist. I'll play them once, I'll give you a moment, and I will play them again. They say we're young and we don't Okay, hit pause for as long as you need, then I'll play them again. And here they come one more time. They say we're young and we don't know, we won't find out till we grow. Well, I don't know if all that's true, cause you got me. Baby, I got you. 
On your ways, front way, back way. You know that I don't play. Streets not safe, but I never run away. Even when I'm away. O T O T. There's never much love when we go O T. I pray to make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray. Okay, give yourselves a minute to answer those. Uh, put me on pause, and when I come back, I'll be doing the round one answers. Okay, welcome back. It is time for your round one answers. You don't need to go to a marking link this week. Just mark your own homework, uh, however you've done it. If um, you sort of weren't really listening properly and you've submitted an answer sheet, take note, I'm afraid that will not be marked this week. So uh, just try and remember what you wrote and uh, keep track of how you did if you want to be able to post in the comment thread later. Um, in case there was any doubt, I am not going to be doing prizes off the back of Quiz Gazettle Lite. You need to win in a, a Quiz Gazettle Big Week to get in on a prize question. Round one, question one, we asked you, the phrase below the belt comes from which sport? The answer there was boxing, boxing for the answer. Question two, we asked how many months of the year are exactly 30 days long? The answer was four, four for the point. Uh, question three, we asked for the commonly used names of six people in picture one, uh, three pairs of surnames. We had Maisie and Pharrell Williams. We had CeeLo, uh, C-E-E-L-O, if you were wondering, and Al Green. Uh, if you're marking your own homework, it's a spelling test. If you got the spelling wrong, punish yourself. Uh, <laughs> of course not. Do what you need to do. And finally, we had Denise and Martin Lewis. Six points there for Maisie and Pharrell Williams. CeeLo and Al Green. Uh, Denise and Martin Lewis. Uh, in the I don't for Pixar, the table lamp stamps on the I. Poor little guy. I for a point. Uh, the SI unit for frequency for question five is Hertz. Uh, if you put the abbreviation HZ, that is fine with me. Uh, otherwise, Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z. Question six, three Venn diagrams. First off, we had general. Um, military ranks meet things that mean general. Then we had uh, love, uh, words for love meets tennis scores. Finally, we have Bart uh, and B. Art. Uh, Bart, of course, being one of the generations of Simpsons listed there. Question seven, oh, sorry, have those one more time. General, love and Bart, three points. Which four countries share a land border with Pakistan? It's Afghanistan, it's India, sure you all got those. Uh, it's also Iran and China. China does come all the way over the Himalayas to say hello. Jolly sociable of it. Uh, Afghanistan, China, India and Iran for four points. Uh, question eight. The robots in disguise were Transformers. Transformers for the point. And then seven Jelly Belly flavours. Did I say Jelly Beans earlier? Apparently they're Jelly Bellies. Uh, they were Buttered Popcorn. Boop, 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 boop. Strawberry cheesecake, mint chocolate chip, tutti frutti, hot cinnamon, peach, and toasted marshmallow. Let's have them again one more time. Buttered popcorn, strawberry cheesecake, mint chocolate chip, 
Tutti Frutti. Uh, Tutti Frutti spelt with two eyes, in case you're wondering how the letters added up. Hot cinnamon, peach, and toasted marshmallow. Question 10 are three chemical elements that uh, begin with the letter P followed by a vowel. Uh, well, you couldn't have phosphorus, you couldn't have plutonium, but you could have palladium, polonium, and potassium. Three points for palladium, polonium, and potassium. Who was the most recent Italian manager to lead a team to the English Premier League title in the footballs? It was Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte. Uh, five films and an actress in picture four, and they were The Hustle, The Princess Diaries, Alice in Wonderland, Rio, Brokeback Mountain, and the actress is Anne Hathaway. The Hustle, The Princess Diaries, Alice in Wonderland, Rio, and Brokeback Mountain, and a sixth point available for Anne Hathaway. Question 13. Theresa May, Philip Hammond, Yvette Cooper and Alan Johnson all became MPs in the big Labour landslide that was 1997. Although I hasten to add that Theresa May was not part of the Labour landslide. 1997 for a point. Our email sign-offs, or um, uh, sort of uh, terms of uh, terms of endearment at the bottom of a letter perhaps, are yours sincerely and kind regards. Yours sincerely and kind regards for two points. Question 15. What A was the class of arthropod to which scorpions belong? That is the arachnid. Uh, question 16. Who wrote the Ballad of Reading Jail? Uh, after being released from prison there, it was Oscar Wilde in those less enlightened times. Oscar Wilde for a point. Four logos in picture six. They were Billabong, Fila, Decathlon, and uh, Asics, or possibly Asics. Uh, Billabong, Fila, Decathlon, and Asics for four points. Question 18. Elizabeth, um, widow of George VI, became known as the Queen Mother. Queen Mother for a point. Uh, and then we had four people born in the same year. They were Kamala Harris, then Lenny Kravitz, uh, almost George's girlfriend in Seinfeld. It was Marissa Tomei. And finally, it's not Clive Wilson, it's Clive Owen. Clive Owen for a point. Kamala Harris, Lenny Kravitz, Marissa Tomei, Clive Owen. They were all born in 1964. That means any year from 63 to 65 will get you the point. And finally, what E is a common term for cerumen, a substance secreted by humans. Well, that is, of course, earwax. Earwax for a point. Uh, do feel free to post your round one scores in the comments on this video if you would like to try and generate a sense of competition in my absence. Uh, otherwise, you can put me on pause for a moment if you like. In a second, I will be back with round two. All right then, onwards and into round number. Oh, haven't he paused? How will you know you're not paused anymore if it still says pause? <laughs> right then, it is time for us to go onwards into round two. Round two, question one, it's another anagram. Crank the lower hips. This is an actor. Crank the lower hips. C-R-A-N-K-T-H-E-L-O-W-E-R-H-I-P-S. Can you work out who it is? Second question of round two. The name of what popular side dish comes from the Dutch word for cabbage salad? The Dutch word for cabbage salad. Back to the pictures for question three. And we have picture number eight, some more colourful films for you. Uh, I thought these weren't too difficult as it goes this week. See how you do. We only want the name of the film. We do not know. Well, hang on, now it was Bands where it was only want the name of the film. We don't want the name of the director. 
or something. On to question number four. Apart from Westminster, which is the only city in the United Kingdom whose name includes one of the points of the compass. Other than Westminster, what is the only British city uh, whose name includes one of the points of the compass? Question five. In the UK TV programme, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? How many legitimate winners of the top prize of £1 million have there been? Uh, in the UK version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, how many people have legitimately won a million pounds? Question six, and it's another picture for you. Picture nine is six more younger people who were older when they were famous than how young they were when they were less famous. Do you see? All you have to do is name these six individuals. Six points for that. Question seven. Uh, he is described in the Bible's book of Samuel, which Philistine dies after a stone fired from a sling hits him in the head. Poor bloke. Sounds very uncalled for. Described in the Bible's book of Samuel, which Philistine dies after a stone fired from a sling hit him in the head. Question number eight. It is on to our mystery voices. You have to listen to three people in this clip. Listen to uh, what their voices sound like. Listen to the things that they say and see if you can work out who they are. I'll play them once. I'll give you a moment and I'll play them again. Number one. <laughs> well, it's the unknown. You know, I mean, you walk in... Pentagon is a Victorian prison, so it's the classic, you know, every movie you've ever seen, it's that kind of setup. So you walk in and you've got the balconies, the safety nets, people shouting, I'm a chameleon, banging things. <laughs> Number two. And I wanted to make sure that we got into the life, where she came from and things like that. So Eleven uh, definitely went on a, like an emotional roller coaster for season two. And, and it was emotional and for me as well, because like I, Eleven is me. So like Eleven is just who I am now. Number three. He said, uh, well, the script's quite interesting. Uh, I like some of it. Now, there's other bits I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, for instance, you do this bit. We're going to find out the answer to this thing you call the ultimate question of life, the universe, and whatever yeah. it is. And uh, that's great. That's terrific. People want to know that sort of stuff, particularly here in California. Um, <laughs> and then what do you do? You just say, well, it's 42. Yeah. Well, I think the audience is going to feel really jerked off by that. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> well, it's the unknown, you know. I mean, you walk in, Pentagon is a Victorian prison, so it's the classic, you know, every movie you've ever seen, it's that kind of setup. So you walk in and you've got the balconies, the safety nets, people shouting, I'm a chameleon, banging things. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. And I wanted to make sure that we got into the life, where she came from and things like that. So Eleven uh, definitely went on a, like an emotional roller coaster for season two. And, and it was emotional and for me as well, because like I, Eleven is me. So like Eleven is just who I am now. Number three. He said, uh, well, the script's quite interesting. Uh, I like some of it. Now, there's other bits I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, for instance, you do this bit. We're going to find out the answer to this thing you call the ultimate question of life, the universe, and whatever yeah. it is. And uh, that's great. That's terrific. People want to know that sort of stuff, particularly here in California. Um, <laughs> and then what do you do? You just say, well, it's 42. Yeah. Well, I think the audience is going to feel really jerked off by that. <laughs> Thank you.
Onward to question number nine. Which father and daughter duo had a UK number one single with the song Changes in 2003? Which father and daughter duo had a number one single with the song Changes back in 2003? Question 10, where the numbers meet each other coming the other way. We have more odd ones out for you. We have things that may or may not conduct electricity. People who may or may not be basketball stars in the United States. Uh, things that might or might not be domestic cat breeds. And stuff that may or may not usually contain fish. Find the odd ones out for four points. Let's take a break from the questions for a moment to go to the music round answers. Uh, eyes down, listen in, uh, if you're the designated team pencil holder. Uh, in the 1960s, we had I Got You Babe, and that is, of course, both Sonny and Cher. Half a point for Sonny, half a point for Cher, or a single point for both. Uh, into the 70s, we had the Kinks singing Lola. Uh, in the 80s, Don't You Want Me asked the Human League. Uh, I do continue to change the order that I declare artist and title, just to keep you on your toes. Um, just to perhaps get you to keep on moving, as Five were singing in the 1990s. That was a dreadful segue. Uh, keep on moving by Five. Into the 2000s, uh, rocking out It's Bohemian Like You by the Dandy Warhols. wonder whatever became of them. Never quite followed up that I was aware of anyway. And finally, in the 2010s, we had One Dance by Drake uh, featuring Wizkid and Kyla. Um, half a point for Drake and half a point for any combination of Wizkid, Kyla, Wizbit or Paul Daniels. I will accept any of those. Um, for the second artist there. Uh, quickly, one more time. The 60s, I Got You Babe, Sunny and Cher. The 70s, Lola by The Kinks. The 80s, Don't You Want Me by The Human League. The 90s, Keep On Moving, It's Five. And the 2000s, Bohemian Like You, The Dandy Warhols. And finally, the 2010s, it is One Dance by Drake featuring Wizkid and Kyla. Question 11. The cities of Kinshasa and Brazzaville lie on either side of which major African river? The cities of Kinshasa and Brazzaville lie on either side of which major African river? Question 12 takes us back to the pictures, and we have more red letter words for you. Can you tell me what these six red letters in these acronyms and initialisms all stand for? Six points available. I have noticed, by the way, that my pause button does occasionally obscure a bit of the picture. My apologies if that's been getting in the way. I'm hoping that you can either just jiggle it back or forward 10 seconds uh, or else that you've just downloaded the pictures um, and it isn't a problem for you. Uh, anyway, that takes us to question 13. And I'm asking you which three tennis, tennis, which three tennis players, money penny. Which three tennis players with alliterative names, uh, both initials the same, have won the Wimbledon men's singles title since 1979? Which three tennis players with alliterative names have won the Wimbledon men's singles since 1979?
Question 14 takes us to some more cartoon character voices. Can you name me three cartoon characters from the names? I'll play it once. I'll put the pause icon on screen. Then I'll play it again. And then you've got to know. Number one. Not much of a house. Just right for not much of a donkey. Number two. You've got the wrong idea about me, Mr. Valiant. I'm a pawn in this, just like Roger. Can you help me find him? Just name your price, and I'll pay it. Number three. I am a cop, and you will respect my authority. Number one. Not much of a house. Just right for not much of a donkey. Number two. You've got the wrong idea about me, Mr. Valiant. I'm a pawn in this, just like Roger. Can you help me find him? Just name your price, and I'll pay it. Number three. I'm a cop, and you will respect my authority! For question 15, it's more pictures for you. Onwards to picture number 12, we have some paraphrased band names for you. I have seven paraphrases. That means seven bands to identify for seven points. Question number 16. In 2003, the American Film Institute issued, it issued, issued its list of the 50 greatest movie villains. Which 1930s character was the highest placed female on the list? Uh, in 2003, the AFI issued its list of the 50 greatest movie villains. Uh, Say the guy from Despicable Me ain't on it. Which 1930s character was the highest placed female on the list? On to our penultimate picture for question 17. We have got more time phrases with missing vowels. <coughs> Beg your pardon. Time phrases with missing vowels. Can you work out what these four bits of Icelandic mean when the vowels are reinstated? Question 18. What C from the Latin for bark is used to describe the outer layer of an organ, especially in reference to the brain? What C from the Latin for bark is used to describe the outer layer of an organ, especially in reference to the brain? Question 19, and it is our final picture. Uh, we have got landlocked countries for you. Uh, can you tell me what each of those coloured countries is called? Uh, do try to put them in order uh, by the colour code on the picture sheet. Um, help you mark yourselves properly. Not normally about ordering, but when there's a list from one to eight with colours, it's about ordering and colour perception. Uh, 
And question number 20. All right. Uh, which of the eight kings of England with the regnal name Henry reigned the longest? Uh, he reigned from 1216 to 1272. Which of the eight kings of England with the regnal name Henry reigned the longest? He reigned from 1216 to 1272. That is the end of round two. We will be on to the wipeout in a minute. For the wipeout round, the wipeout round icon will take the place of my pause button. Um, because if you put the pause button over the black of the wipeout round icon, it still just looks like the wipeout round icon. Do you see? Anyway, we'll be back in a moment. All right, well, hopefully you worked out to pause it until you had your round two answers done. If you haven't, pause it again. Now you've unpaused it. <laughs> it's wipeout question one. What is the one word common name of the art museum on New York City's Fifth Avenue, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright? What's the one word common name of the art museum on New York City's Fifth Avenue, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright? Wipe out question number ooh, two. Apparently, living to the age of 969, um, jolly good innings, which biblical figure is reputed to have lived the longest? Uh, living to the age of 969, almost certainly, uh, which biblical figure is reputed to have lived the longest? What portmanteau word, I ask for wipeout question three, what portmanteau word comes before suit in the name of a whole body garment worn as protection against toxic substances? What portmanteau word comes before suit in the name of a garment worn as a protection against toxic substances? Wipe out four, or what is the largest city by population on the island of Honshu? What is the largest city by population on the island of Honshu? Wipe out number five, what word meaning a rule of the few? is defined as a small group of people having control of a country or an organisation. What word, meaning rule of the few, is defined as a small group of people having control of a country or organisation? And uh, I didn't explain the wipeout round as we started. I think you guys all know by now, but do remember, if you get any of these wipeout questions wrong, you lose all your wipeout points um, in your self-marking. So be careful making guesses. Let's try and keep this realistic. And final question for this week's quiz. What song title is shared by hits for Elton John uh, in 1970, 1971 in the UK, um, apparently? Maybe it was when we were on the Gregorian calendar. Who's to know? And by Rita Ora in 2017. Which song title is shared by hits for Elton John in 1970? A UK 1971. I can't imagine why we would be saying what year it was out in America first. Very confusing. Anyway, fine. Round around about the start of the 70s. That's the point. Uh, and by Rita Ora in 2017. Uh, pause for a minute to finish your wipeout answers, and then we are going to be back to mark round two.
Alrighty, let's do us some marking. Remember, if you've got all this way using the Google Form system and have submitted your answers, uh, no one's marking that today, I'm afraid. Um, you could try and hector me into marking it at a later date, but best to just try and remember how you did and keep a note with a pencil. Um, we'll be back to normal service next week, and I have investigated all sorts of interesting things you can do with triggers, forms, and Google Sheets. So um, that should be breaking uh, at some point in the next few weeks. Anyway, round two, question one. We had an anagram, crank the lower hips, and he sure does. It is Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken for a point. Question two, the name of what side dish comes from the Dutch word for cabbage salad? And that was coleslaw. Coleslaw is a Dutch cabbage salad. Mm, question three. We had some films, all of them with a colour in their title. And they were Men in Black, The Colour Purple, The Green Mile, and Blue is the Warmest Colour. Those again, Men in Black, The Colour Purple, The Green Mile, and blue is the warmest colour. Question four. The only city in the UK with a compass point at its name other than Westminster is Southampton. Southampton gets a point. Question five. There have been six legitimate winners of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The answer is six. On to question six, and we have some youthful indiscretions uh, via the medium of having a face. And they were Rick Mail, Selma Hayek, Terry Crews, Connie Huck, Tim Henman, and from Game of Thrones, it is Sophie Turner. Those again, Rick Mail, Selma Hayek, Terry Crews, Connie Huck, Tim Henman, and Sophie Turner. For question seven, the Philistine who dies after a stone fired uh, from a sling hits him in the head. It's probably criticising Stanley Kubrick films or something. Uh, it was Goliath. The Philistine who dies after a stone from a sling hits him in the head is Goliath. Question eight, we had our mystery voices and they were a Boy George, Millie Bobby Brown and Douglas Adams. Boy George, Millie Bobby Brown, and Douglas Adams. Question nine. Uh, this is one point for this one. There are two people, but only one point, I'm afraid. Uh, which father and daughter had a UK single with the song Changes? For one point, it is Ozzy and Kelly Osbourne. Ozzy and Kelly Osbourne. Uh, if you've written Sharon Osbourne, no points. If you've written Sharon and Ozzy, no points. They're not father and daughter. But if you've written, I don't know. I mean, there's a half point in it for someone somewhere, I'm sure. You'll work out whether you deserve it. Question 10. Four odd ones out. They were pure water. Of course, water needs to have ions in solution in order to conduct electricity. Every fool know that. Uh, Michael Johnson is not a basketball player. Were well, you getting him mixed up with Michael Jordan, perhaps? Uh, Peking Ease, is that maybe a dog? Anyway, Peking Ease is not a cat, apparently. And finally, uh, Scouse. Scouse, of course, is not a dish made with fish. It is someone from Liverpool. Totally different thing. Uh, although I am told that it, it can uh, have a culinary context as well. Uh, question 11, oh sorry, again, they were pure water, Michael Johnson, Peking Ease, and Scouse. Question 11, Kinshasa and Brazzaville are on either side of the Congo. Congo for a point. Then for question 12, we have some red letter words, and they were gratia, as in exempli gratia, emirates, as in United Arab Emirates, horticultural, as in Royal Horticultural Society, California, as in the University of California, Los Angeles. Uh, Turing, as in the completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. I just get people to do the quiz. If they get more than 110, I assume they're a robot. 
And finally, ceremonies, as in Master of Ceremonies. So six points for Gratia, Emirates, Horticultural, California, Turing, and Ceremonies. Question 13. We had three alliterative tennis players. Three points for Bjorn Borg, Boris Becker, and Andre Agassi. Bjorn Borg, Boris Becker, and Andre Agassi. Question 14. Cartoon voices. First off was a very gloomy donkey. It was Eeyore. And second, we had Jessica Rabbit. Third was, I respect my authority, it's Eric Cartman. Eeyore, Jessica Rabbit, and Eric Cartman. Uh, Cartman will do. Question 15. Seven paraphrase bands, seven points available, four nine-inch nails. Uh, Panic at the Disco, must be some sort of Panic at the Tesco spin-off. Uh, Little Mix. Uh, Kiss. A Royal Blood. Muse, and finally, it is Coldplay. Nine Inch Nails, Panic at the Disco, Little Mix, Kiss, Royal Blood, Muse, and Coldplay. The AFI uh, top female villain was the Wicked Witch of the West. Wicked Witch of the West. Uh, she came in fourth, three places behind Hannibal Lecter. Um, quite the villainous character, he. Uh, Wicked Witch of the West for a point. Question 17, we had some missing vowels. The phrases were, tell the time. Week in, week out. Time again, and at the 11th hour. Four points for tell the time. Week in, week out. Time and again, and at the 11th hour. Question 18. What C is used to describe the outer layer of an organ? Um, especially in reference to the brain, that was cortex. Cortex for a point. Question 19. We had some landlocked countries, one of them self-declared as independent. Uh, they were um, in colour order, so following the numbers on your sheet. First, the Czech Republic. Uh, if you wrote Czechia, and of course the number of letters that were indicated are not consistent with Czechia, but you can have it. And then we have Slovakia, then Austria, then Hungary. Number five was Switzerland. Then going down south we have Serbia, headed towards Kosovo, and finally it is North Macedonia. It ain't Macedonia no more, Toto. Um, it is North Macedonia. Uh, question 20. Which of the eight kings of England, with the regnal name Henry, had the longest reign? That was Henry the Third. Fifty-six years he lasted. Very well done. Uh, finally, for today, on to the wipeout. The one-word common name of the Art Museum on Fifth Avenue is the Guggenheim. Guggenheim. Uh, the oldest biblical figure living to 969 for wipeout 2 was Methuselah. Methuselah made it to a ripe old age. Probably wearing an early version of Answer 3, uh, the whole body garment worn to protect against toxic substances is a hazmat, hazmat suit. For question 4, the largest city on the island of Honshu is Tokyo, Tokyo. Then uh, question 5, uh, it gets discussed at great length in Plato's Republic if you're feeling classical. Um, the word describing a small group of people controlling a country or organisation is oligarchy. Country, realise, or else half the organisation's half. All of the organisations in the country would be oligarchies, wouldn't they? Uh, anyway, oligarchy for the point. And finally, for this week's quiz, what song title is shared by hits for Elton John in 1970 and by Rita Ora in 2017? That is your song. Uh, do remember, if you got any of those wrong, I'm afraid you have to dock all your wipeout points. Uh, and feel free to post how well you did into the comment thread. Uh, you can compare against the others. If you want a benchmark, uh, Jane, Rick and I scored a not entirely impressive 101.5 when we did it on Sunday. Saturday? Saturday. Whenever we prepped. Anyway. 
Uh, that is it for Quiz Gazette Lite for this week. I hope that has all worked for you um, and been a smooth and an adequate listening experience. I will be back in real life at eight o'clock next week. So I will hope to see you. I won't see you. I will hope to see you then.